Hello everyone. So uh, today I will uh, discuss about the graph of quadratic functions. So basically, uh, I will show you how to draw the graph of quadratic functions and also how to read the graph and you know what kind of different situations we can get that. So initially I have you know you can see that I have a Cartesian coordinate plane. I have a quadratic function f x is equals to x square minus 4x plus 3. So what we need to do? It's a very simple process. We just need to you know I uh, put the values of different different values of x and get the different values of y. Uh, initially I can take f x say y. So y is equals to x square minus 4x plus 3 now it's a very simple task what we need to do we just need to put different values of x let's say I will start from the very uh, different very basic value of x which is 0 so if you will put the value of x 0 so you can get the value of y which is you know y is equal to that is 0 square that is 0 minus 4 into 0 that is 0 plus 3 so basically is equals to 3 so similarly now for x is equals to 0 I have y is equals to 3 I can plot this on my you know Cartesian coordinate system because 0 comma 3 is a point for me so x is equals to 0 x is 0 basically is what that is y axis and on y axis I have the point y that is 3 so I have my point this so uh, in my Cartesian coordinate plane every pair x and y every values of x and y is uh, you know it will, it will represent a point so I will get different different points so next I if, if I will put the value of x is equals to 1 so I will get the value of y that is equals to 1 minus 4 into 1 that is 4 plus 3 so 1 plus 3 is what 4 4 minus 4 is what 0 yes I can get 0 so y is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 basically is so what x x is and on x x is I have my point that is equals to 1 now then next I will put the value of x is equals to 2 so by putting the value of x is equals to 2 we can get the value of y which is y is equals to 2 square that is 4 minus now the value of x is 2 that is 4 2 is a 8 plus 3 so what is 4 plus 3 that is 7 7 minus 8 that is equals to minus 1 so on x is equals to minus 2 so I have the value of x on the positive side so on the right hand side of the origin I can get the value of x which is 2 now one unit on the lower side so I will get here uh, the intersection point of these two things so that is my point 2 comma minus 1 similarly I can put different values it's not necessary you know to put the value 0 1 2 in the series you can put any value of you know x right now I can see that the, my graph is going to decrease because as I am putting different different values of x in increasing order if I am going you know on the positive direction of x axis my graph is decreasing so I am going on this way and I am putting the next value which is you know 3 so on x is equals to 3 I can get the value of y so y is equals to what that is 3 3 square mm -hmm. now 3 square the 3 square is 9 minus 4 3 is a 12 plus 3 so 9 plus 3 is 12 0 again I have the value of 0 it means on my x axis I have two points yes so it's an important thing for us that for y is equals to 0 it means x axis we have the value of x that is equals to 3 so you can see that on my x axis I have two points it means for a particular value of you know for a particular value of y which is 0 for a particular value of y I have two points on that okay Two, po two points on that two values of y on that so it means for a particular value of x we can get for a particular value of y we can get two values of x and similarly if I will put the value of x is equals to 4 so I can get y is equals to now 4 square is what 16 minus 4 4 is a 16 plus 3 so that is equals to 3 yes so that is my last point 4 comma 3 x is 4 and y is 3 and similarly yes I have another point on y is equals to 3 yes so basically you can see that I have you know taken some different values of x so I have my different values of y so I have some points let's say I have my 4 points 1 2 3 4 5 so by joining these 5 I five point five points so by joining these 5 points I can draw my graph now what is the more most important thing for you know drawing the graph of quadratic function it is to understand that the quadratic function is always in the shape of a parabola no this is the shape of a parabola that is you know opening upward and similarly this is that is you know opening downwards you can see that the parabola is a shape in which you can get the shape like these two you know diagrams the first one is opening upward the second one is opening downward so you can see that if I will join these five points I can get the diagram similar one of the these two okay so I can get I think you know this one so if I will join these two points I can get my you know graph but 
how to join this point we just need to join the points in a very you know smooth way so that you can obtain your shape this is your required parabola required shape of the quadratic function you know it is very important to understand that the graph is always looks like a parabola okay and you know the point which is this is called a minimum point i will show you later okay so this is the basic steps to you know uh, draw the graph of quadratic function now quadratic polynomial let's say this one is x square minus 4x plus 3 what are the important points you know respective to the graph first of all uh, the points on the x-axis it means where the my graph cuts on the x-axis are my roots okay i can get these roots by factorization also x square minus 4x plus 3 i can factorize you know x square minus by you know splitting the middle term that is 3x minus x plus 3 because i have the coefficient of x square is 1 my constant term is 3 so 1 into 3 that is 1 into 3 is what 1 into 3 is what 3 so i want 3 i just need to break my 4 so that i can get 3 so i have break my 4 as 3 and 1 okay so 4 is equals to 3 plus 1 and uh, you know 3 into 1 that is equals to 3 so i have break my 4 into two numbers such that the sum is equals to 4 and the product is equals to 3 so by taking common from the first two like x so i have x minus 3 similarly common from the next two i have x minus 3 so i have just factorized the given quadratic polynomial into the product of two linear polynomial now on my x-axis the y is always zero now this is the value of the y so if you want the value of y is 0 you just need to put the value of x such that th this will become 0 so you can clearly see that this x should be 3 or x should be 1 so x should be what 3 or 1 so 1 or 3 these are the two points on the x-axis so we can also get the two points by you know uh, first factorizing the polynomial or by another method but by finding the root so by finding the roots we can get the two points and similarly now this is my y-axis on y-axis my graph will always cut on a point at which the x is 0 because y-axis is what y-axis is what where x is equal to 0 so if y is equal to x square minus 4x plus 3 if you will put the value of x is 0 so you can see that the value of y is equal to your constant term and that is equal to 3 so my graph will always cut on the point at on the point that is equals to my constant term my constant term is 3 so we can see that this is the basic steps to draw the graph of a quadratic polynomial so now i have different different cases here you know for the graph of quadratic functions you can get different different cases i have shown you know nine cases we have three or more cases also first of all uh, we just need to understand the sign of ABCD by these different different cases in the first case my graph is not cutting the x-axis it means my graph is not cutting the x-axis you know polynomial does not have real roots that's why d is negative okay if d is positive it means real roots okay real and different okay if d is equals to zero it means real and equal and if d is less than zero that means your roots are not real my graph is opening upward that's why a is positive you know my graph is cutting the y-axis at you know positive points it means c is positive now uh, my d is negative now this is my lowest point and this is you know on the positive direction of x-axis so i can see that minus b by 2a is what minus b by 2a is what positive that's why b by 2a is what negative now b by 2a is negative and a is positive so b should be b should be what b should be negative so similarly here the graph is opening upward a is positive graph is opening upward a is positive so i think the sign of a should be clear for all the nine graphs now for this one the graph is cutting y axis at positive graph is cutting y axis at a positive point c is positive similarly c is positive now here my graph is cutting on the negative direction of y axis that's why you know uh, c is what negative similarly graph is cutting on the negative direction of y axis c is negative similarly now my graph is cutting on the positive direction of y axis c is positive so i think the sign of c should also be cleared now what is the b and d so d as i told you that d depends on your graph is cutting the x axis or not here my graph is touching the x axis or i can or i can say that cutting it at a point it means my roots are equal so my roots are equal so d should be equal to zero so if your graph is touching the x axis d should be zero so here d is zero here d is zero and here d is zero you know you can see that all these three graphs my d is zero now my graph is not cutting the x-axis for all the three graphs over here so it means d is negative for all these three, three graphs and my graph is cutting x-axis at two different points so my d is positive for both the three graphs this will help you thank you